Okay, so let's start building stuff in 3D. Our first object is a coffee table. So let's take a look at our reference photo right here. Remember, in building anything in 3D, we always look at the basic shapes on which our subject is composed of. So for this object, uh, as we can see, the closest shape we can associate it with is with the 3D cube. So let's create a polygon cube. So in Maya, go to create and then polygon primitives and then cube. Make sure also that uh, if you go to create, that interactive creation is unchecked so that our cube just pops up in the middle of our grid. Okay. So we can see our cube starts up small. So let's just use the scale tool to resize it. So click on the scale tool and then click the box in the middle of our scale manipulator and then left click and drag to scale it up. Okay, so I'm going to press 5 on my keyboard to view our 3D and shaded view. If you want, if you want to go back to wireframe view, just press 4. So let's go back to uh, shaded view. So I'm going to press 5 again. Okay. So now let's use the scale tool to flatten our cube, just like the shape of our table at the top. So select your object. Okay. And click the scale tool and start scaling it down. So I'm just going to place my cursor over to the green box and then left click and drag. Okay. And then I'm going to place my cursor at the blue box, and then left click and drag. And then I'm going to click my, I'm going to place my cursor over to the red box and then left click and drag. Okay, so let's just move this up. So I'm going to click the move tool. I'm going to pl place my cursor to the green arrow and then just move it up in the Y axis. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. Then let's duplicate this cube, go to edit, and then duplicate. So our duplicate is placed on top of the original, so let's just move this down. So click on the move tool, and then let's move this down. As you can see, we can. Uh, this is our duplicate. So I'm just going to scale this down, so I'm going to click on the scale tool and then place my cursor at the center box and then just scale this down and then I'm going to add a little bit of thickness so I'm going to place my cursor at the Y axis which is the green box of our scale tool and then left click and drag after that I'm just going to move my cube to intersect the table at the top so I'm just going to move it Okay, next let's create the legs of our table. So let's create a new polygon cube. So go to create again, polygon primitives, and then cube. As you can see, uh, our cube pops up in the middle again. So first let's just scale it up. So I'm going to click my scale tool and then scale it up. Next I'm going to scale it. Uh, Lengthwise, I'm going to place my cursor at the y-axis and then left click and drag. Alright. Next, I'm just going to move our table leg to the corner. So I'm going to click on the move tool and then just move this to the corner. Alright. So that looks good. Next, I'm going to duplicate this leg. So to do that, go to Edit, Duplicate. And then the duplicate is again placed on top of the original. So let's just move this. So let's move this to the opposite corner. All right. So next, let's duplicate uh, these two legs to the other side. So to do that, uh, click on the selection tool again and then click, drag your cursor to select both of the legs. 
and then go to edit duplicate uh, the shortcut of edit duplicate is Apple D if, I, if you're on a Mac and then Control D if you're on Windows so again our duplicate is placed on top of the original so let's just use the move tool and then move it to the other side okay so we're almost done uh, we're just going to create the bottom part of our table so to do that uh, we can duplicate this part right here so go to edit again duplicate and then let's move the duplicate down okay next let's reduce the thickness of our cube so let's use the scale to once more I'm gonna scale this down in Y axis and then let's make this a little bit smaller so I'm gonna scale it down using the middle box of our scale manipulator tool so click on this box and then left click and drag okay if we zoom out we now have built our first 3D object in Maya.